Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sun, Moon and Rising of Aries. I uh, want to wish you guys a very, very happy Hallow's Eve. Happy Halloween to everyone. I hope you guys are safe out there. And uh, for those of you guys that haven't subscribed to my channel, I highly encourage you to subscribe so you could get the uh, newest updates once videos are uploaded. Also, if you're interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. And uh, let's get into your reading, Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Also, I want to give out a big shout out to all my Arians out there. Um, the way I'm doing the uploads uh, this mid-month is the videos that get the most views or the most comments, those are going to be the first videos to come up next time around. So you guys were definitely in the top four. So thank you guys for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Don't forget to comment. Again, like I said, share my videos and um, let's get into your reading. All right, so I'm going to be pulling out cards for you and then cards in regards to the person you're dealing with, the person you're interested in, or the person that you're in a current relationship with, okay? So let's get into your reading spirit. What are the messages for Aries for the mid-month of October 2017? Spirit, what are the messages for Aries for the mid-month of October 2017? Spirit, what are the messages? What are the messages for Aries for the mid-month of October 2017? All right. Let's get this popping, Aries. Ooh, Aries, first card. You have the Judgment, the Moon, the Six of Swords, the Ten of Swords, Partners cards, Seven of, of Cups, sorry, Five of Pentacles, the World, the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Spirit, please give me the current situation in regards to Aries. Love reading for the mid month of October 2017. Current situation. Current situation. Current situation. Current situation. Current situation. Current situation. Alrighty, here we go. Current situation. You have the chariot. My Aries. Okay. So the current situation is the chariot. The chariot is talking about moving forward. Um almost extremely focused um, I'm getting the energy like like speeding like you you guys are hauling ass I, I can feel almost like the air blowing my hair uh, so this could be mental this could be your process how you're processing things or it can be uh, it could also represent um, a what's the word I'm looking for a metaphor a metaphor for the energies that you're taking on for the mid month of October. It's like either you agree with me or you don't. I'm moving forward. I'm marching on. Like no sh no shits, no f's were were given. Uh, that's the type of energy that the chariot is giving to me. So let's get into this reading. All right, Aries, you have two very interesting cards here. You have the Judgment and you have the Moon card, and they're right next to each other. So the Judgment card can represent a person from your past, because these are the cards that represent how you view the partner or relationship, or the person you're dealing with, or dealing with. I say were because the Judgment card definitely talks about a person from the past, and this person that you were dealing with that either came back into your life or you reached out to them, uh, trying to pick things up were kind of like where you guys left off. Uh, the judgment card was having the opportunity or being given the opportunity to uh, move forward in a very focused manner. So what I mean by focused manner is it's kind of like you didn't get it right the first time, but the sec second time around, universe is giving you the green light. Like definitely give it an opportunity and see where it goes. But then you have the moon card next to it. So the moon card is definitely talking about a lot of suppressed feelings, a lot of emotions that are unknown to you. But because these are the cards that symbolize you and how you see your partnership or the relationship or person you're interested in, you don't understand this person. Like clearly you don't understand this person. So what I mean by that is either you were very quickly uh, judging them you were quickly judging them based on the fact that you didn't understand their nature. And because you didn't understand your, their nature, you're very quick to judge them. Um, 
So again, the judgment and the moon card can represent that whether you see things for what they are or whether you didn't understand circumstances and situations, it's going to come back around where you're going to have to see it in a different perspective or in a different light. The moon usually represents hidden motives and perhaps you feel like this person either lied to you or you feel like this person was sneaky. Um, perhaps there was a um, perhaps there is a, a definitely someone left someone out in the cold so it could be you that you did this to the person where everything was going good and then all of a sudden you were quick to decide you know what I don't want to deal with them or they were quick to decide you know what I don't want to deal with them but the reason for it is because of suppressed feelings or suppressed emotions whether it's you or whether it's the person you were dealing with so again the moon usually represents hidden motives uh, hidden agenda things that are unknown to you but because it's next to the judgment it's not in a negative way it's just you guys both are having difficulty understanding each other's natures could be that you guys are extremely different so anyways moving on you have the six of swords here and the six of swords next to the ten of swords so what this represents is you're moving forward you're moving forward um, to calmer waters, perhaps getting clearer perspective or trying to, for some of you guys, maybe you guys recently uh, gave each other some space, gave each other some room uh, to try to get a clear head to see what it is that you want to do, whether it's you want to move forward or you just want to call it quits. Um, and again, the Six of Swords definitely promises you uh, being able to step into calmer waters, have more clarity, more understanding. Perhaps you see this person in a different perspective or perhaps you come to the decision of, you know what, I need to move forward. Uh, but in order to move forward with this person or the person you were dealing with, um, perhaps you were still holding on to someone from the past because the Ten of Swords definitely talks about endings. But because you're moving on to a different type of phase in your life, you are still being challenged with this Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords, again, like I said, for some of you guys, it could have been that you were trying to get to know someone on a uh, on a deeper level but there was some type of miscommunication or misunderstanding and based on that you're being able to move forward but you still feel or have this notion of you know should I reach out to this person should I uh, try to communicate with them whatever it may be but the ten here the ten of swords here is reminding you the reason why you can't connect with other people or the reason why things just don't you guys can be on the same frequency is because you're still holding on to the past the ten of swords is here to remind you that what's done it's done what's dead it's dead you can't bring it back to life it's like you know you know like literally the horse is dead stop kicking it it's not gonna it's not gonna move um so again i feel that the ten of swords is a symbolization of a previous relationship or a partner that you were dealing with uh perhaps while you were dealing with this new person you were dealing with or starting to date or go out with uh the ten of swords is here to remind you you're not going to be able to move forward and make something happen with another person if you're not able to release what no longer serves you okay so how the person you're dealing with or the person you're interested in sees you at the present time is the seven of uh, cups. So the seven of cups is definitely feeling like um, it could be either that this person seen you as like just someone that likes to have fun, likes to, but nothing long term. So it could, they, it could be that they seen you as a person that doesn't want to take anything seriously and it's fine. It's 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 fun to deal with the person that has wants no attachments and that's always a great fun great night so to speak but when it comes to wanting to build something uh, they're very quick to say this is definitely not the person to build with so that could be a negative thing okay because this could be the energy that you're putting off so if you were genuinely interested in a person with the moon here uh, the moon is definitely talking about Perhaps they were able to see through that. They're probably able to see and pick up on the fact that maybe you were promising, you're wanting something serious, but they could see through that bullshit, so to speak. And how they're seeing you is either they have too many options, they have a lot of people interested in them, and perhaps you weren't giving them enough effort or putting enough effort to prove to them 
that you were genuinely interested, okay? So, again, like I said, someone was definitely left out in the cold. The Five of Pentacles definitely speaks about shutting them out, either stop texting, stop calling, stop talking, hanging out, just out of the blue. Um, and whether you like to accept it or not, uh, how they're seeing this, how they're seeing this is they're seeing it as you you guys can build anything moving forward. You guys are too different or you guys are uh, on very different frequency levels, okay? But again, the five of pentacles can also represent that there is a deeper reason why you guys had to connect. Perhaps you had to teach that person a lesson or that person had to teach you a lesson. And I feel that one or the other definitely failed at that. Uh, the reason I say that is because of the Seven of Cups here and the Ten. So it's like with the Seven of Cups, there's a lot of options. Or they seen you as a person that just likes to have fun, uh, a person that likes to drink, even, you know, do drugs or whatever, just have a good time. And the Ten of Swords is definitely talking about an ending cycle. So it could be that they were perhaps fun and that carefree at one point in their life, but that personality or that, you know, that energy was already done. Like they're not on the same level as you are. Um, not in a negative or positive way, just you guys are very different. You guys are wanting different things. But I also do want to mention with the Five of Pentacles here and the World card, there's an ending cycle here, but I feel that there's an ending cycle of you protecting yourself, Aries. So what this could represent, it could also represent the fact that um, maybe you were resisting opening up to this person. Maybe you genuinely did care for this person. You just were too scared to let go or to open up and show vulnerability. But the mo uh, sorry, but the world card here is definitely representing uh, getting to a point where you need to grow. So it's basically like it's time for you to grow up. It's time for you to let go of whatever past hurts you've dealt with in the past and it's time for you to evolve if you don't evolve you will continuously keep attracting the same type of people that you've dealt with all those exes that you've accumulated uh you need to understand that if you don't evolve you will continuously keep having exes so i hope that makes sense to some of you guys because that message is definitely coming on very strong so uh I know Aries could be very intense, very passionate. You know, if, if it hits you, it hits you and you just run with it. But a lot of the times, sometimes you need to be calculating. Sometimes you need to, you know, place your bets on the safest, <laughs> the safest bet. Uh, so what I mean by that, and it's funny because I just, you know, I had just had a conversation about this a couple of weeks ago. Um, sometimes, yes, uh, you know, gambling could be uh what was that that i was i was told um the biggest risk has the biggest outcome or the biggest pay something like that which in fact is true but at the same time if you're not tactful or careful on how you approach or communicate with certain people there are certain people that you may perceive as they're very rigid and it's not that they're rigid, it's just that they are so deep that sometimes you can't even understand why they would get offended over a joke, over something that you just thought blatantly, you thought it was, I don't know what the word is, like uh, playful. But in reality, the reason why they're reacting to a, a certain way uh, based on a comment that you give could have to do with p things from their past. Um, it could bring back memories. It could be something that they experience that perhaps you have never experienced and it doesn't make them rigid. It just makes them cautious. So again, take that for what it is, uh, for whatever, whoever that message is direct, directed towards. But anyways, how the partner you're dealing with views the situation. For those of you guys that are currently in a long-term committed relationship, the judgment card here with the moon card speaks about, um, there is a need for clarity, but you guys have to be honest with one another. And the reason I say that is because the judgment is like one or the other is judging very harshly. And the moon card can symbolize 
hidden feelings, but the reason why they're hiding those feelings or the reason why you're hiding those feelings is based out of fear. You're scared that they're going to judge you. You're scared that they're not going to want to move forward. And it probably has to do with past behavior or past experiences that you've dealt with Aries in the past with the Ten of Swords. Now, how they're viewing the situation, the Seven of Cups, they're definitely having options at the present time. Uh, the Five of Pentacles definitely speaks about being left out in the cold or not communicating at all. And the world with the seven of coins is definitely talking about you guys are ending a cycle and it's time to elevate it to the next level if you want to progress in this relationship. So again, like I said, for those of you guys that have been in a long-term relationship and there's no marriage or you guys haven't moved in with each other, again, the world card is here to signify there's going to be a completion, whether it's a completion of you guys have hit uh, the cap on dating and it's time to take it to the next level whether it's moving uh moving with each other or whether it's actual marriage now the seven of pentacles here is uh representing uh, being able to look towards the past and learn from those experiences in order to make you a better lover a better partner um and vice versa because it is the cards of your partner or the person you're dealing with so again i know this this reading seems all over the place but I hope it resonates with some of you guys. Um, let me get just clarity real quick for the moon card here. Please give me the clarity for the moon card. Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? Give me clarity in regards to the moon card. Okay, yeah. So the moon card is being represented as... <coughs> Uh, the fear of opening up. You have the page of cups here. The page of cups is a loving message or communication or opening up and speaking about feelings. And that's what you're hiding, Aries, because these are your cards up here. So again, a lot of the times it's necessary for us to open up and even show some type of vulnerability because to you, uh, you're a very intense type of sign. To you, it may not signify a lot, but to other people, uh, other people, um, signs that are on a deeper level, it could mean the world to them, or it could just transition and change, see everything in a different aspect. So again, I highly encourage you, Aries, for those of you guys that are currently having uh, relationship problems, or you feel like you can't express your feelings uh, to a person that you're genuinely interested in, my advice is definitely you know, go big or go home, basically. Uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with putting everything on the line uh, in regards to love. So I wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Comment, like, and share my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. Once again, happy Hallows Eve. Happy Halloween to everyone out there and be safe. Okay.